Hello, Georgia Burns back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the dies from the Quiet Meadow. I've got them here. Now I have stamped, every, uh, cut everything out, everything out because these are too long to go through my mini, too long that way, through my sidekick. So I have kicked cut them out. I've also used the stamp set Textured Essentials and I've used that image there and I'm using the Pansy Patch for the thank you. So what I've got, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and two pieces of white cardstock, one for the inside, one for the outside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I have cut out these I don't know if you can see them so I've got that one that one that one and this one. I've also cut out a butterfly which I could have cut out now and the sentiment. Now I have cut three of these because today I'm having trouble with my stamping. So first of all we need to colour these in first so we need a piece of paper We need some ink, and I'm going to use Old Olive as my greenery. Let's move these out of the way. And daubers. Right. Here is my green. Now, on some of these, I just went over them quite lightly just like that I'm just doing all the stalks and then this one at the right side I went over this quite dark Just keep going over it until you get it nice and dark. I mean you could have got a mossy meadow out and use that. Right, so that's that one. And then these, oh this one, I did really dark leaves up here. And I, if you notice, I put my finger at the top just to, so I don't hit the flower. Not that this one's got any flower because this is quite Try not to hit. I have hit the flower there, but that don't matter. There's another one, and this one. Did that, oh yeah, we did that green. Yeah. 
You have to be careful you don't rip the stems. Right. It's all like greenery done. Now we just have to pick some colours. So I'm going to do Island Heather for one. What is this? I'll do. Um, and I did that, this one. So I'm going to do it a bit lighter, not as dark. our purple flower and now we have a yellow so I've got Daffodil Delight on this one nice little yellow flower and then this one I did it blushing bright so It's a paper forming down everywhere here. And don't forget the bud. Right. We need the yellow out and we need one I use for crumb cake, right? The butterfly. Yeah. What we did, we covered it in yellow ink. Let's see if I've got enough yellow on here. I have. Right. And then I got hold of crumb cake what I did, I went round the edges with my crumb cake And then I've folded in the body. And I went over the seam, over the fold, where the body is. And that's what I got. Fold it back up that way. I don't see this dark. That's all right. And that is my butterfly done. So keep that. I need that. All right. Let's bring our front panel. Referee. You have to excuse my husband. He's watching a football match. As the Euros 2020 are on and he's watching it obviously because he's football daft right in fact that's too dark so 
I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp off. Stamp off and stamp down. That's better. I can't remember doing that last time, but I must have done it. And that is that. And then we did splatter dots, also in crumb cake. These splatter dots, I think they've ended up in every card I've done today. Right, that's our background done. Now with my Versafine, my Sentiment and a, yeah, Sentiment. Let's stamp this. For once, my sentiment has turned out all right. Right, let's get sticking this down. So, finish my card base. down like that stick the one down inside you can write your little note of thanks and then we get sticking Right, the first one we stuck down was this big tall green one. I did stick that down in the middle. So. There's a bit of glue on each leaf bud, whatever you want to call them. And. that down. Right next we put the yellow one down. Just thought of something. These are classed as weed. Weeds if you've got them in your garden. You're thanking somebody with, with a bunch of weeds. I won't say something if you don't. Right, now we've got this one. This is our purple one. Going to stamp stick that just there, a bit lower than the other one, and this one's going to go there. If I'm going to melip it, move the stem, I can't say that word. Melip Forget it. <laughs> right. And I'm just going to twist the stem. I don't want it sticking out right over there. And then this will go over the top of the flowers on dimensionals. Right, just 
so I want three on it. And pop that. So it's straight. And then we're going to pop the butterfly. And we're going to pop that just down there. Right. Uh, we just need some gems. Right, we want gold ones. I've actually got some silver ones back in stock. My sister came visiting yesterday and she bought me two packets. I actually saw my niece yesterday. No, well I saw my niece, but her baby who's seven months old and it's the first time I've seen her due to lockdown and had a cuddle with her so it was my great niece right we've got that and now we're just going to add three more gems so I'm going to put one there one there and one there Telling my sister, by the time I see her grandbaby, she'll be ready for school. But no, she's not quite. And there we are. I think that's quite pretty. There again, I'd say that because I made it. them for future use. I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a share. Oh, no, you can share. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.